She's loud. She's body. She's 350 pounds. And in two months' time, she'll be an Olympian. 22-year-old Holly Mangle is headed to London this summer to compete for a medal in weightlifting. A sport she practically just learned. And no one expected her to qualify for. So this is your idea of a fun weekday afternoon? <laughs> this? That's a lot of fun. It looks hard. It feels awesome. If that's not your idea of a good time, well, Holly Mangold is not your average world-class athlete. I've always been big. You sure seem good with it, huh? I'm really good with it. I don't need people to see me as some awesome athlete, muscular person. I mean, if you want to judge me, by all means, go ahead. I'm probably judging you right back. Holly's meteoric rise to the U.S. Olympic weightlifting team came after only four years competing in the sport. Where in the two events, she's throwing up 250 pounds in the single motion snatch and 320 pounds in the two-part clean and jerk. Are you surprised at how much she can lift? It's a good amount. I can still beat her. So this is that part about where the family's competitive? No, I, <laughs> as the older brother, I, I can always, always win. Spoken like a true sibling, Holly's older brother is Nick Mangold, <laughs> all-pro center for the New York Jets. Do you think there are other members of the Jets who she can outlive? Oh, definitely. Really? Huh? Oh, yeah. Growing up outside Dayton, Ohio, Nick, Holly, and their two sisters were encouraged to play all kinds of sports, just for the fun of it. Holly herself dabbled in everything from softball to volleyball to swimming. But all it took was one of Nick's peewee football games for then seven-year-old Holly to find her favorite. Watching him play and, and watching him love it and get so excited with it, it just made me want to play. With the blessing of her parents, Holly suited up. But she wasn't just another girl kicker. Holly Mangold and I am 53 and Nick playing their stuff. She played in the trenches, on the line, just like Nick, and proudly came home to her mother, all black and blue. When she was in grade school at the beginning of the year, we would write letters to the teachers that she was playing football just because of the number of bruises she was going to have when she went into school. Were you afraid social services were, was going to come after you or something? Yes, I was. <laughs> I was. I was a little concerned about teachers thinking that my husband and I were doing something to her, and I didn't want that to happen. <laughs> Over the years, Holly used her size to her advantage and became the first high school girl to ever play from the line of scrimmage in football crazy Ohio. Your teammates, they never had a problem having you around? Oh, no. I mean, no. Because I could kill them. So, I mean, guys are kind of simple. If you can beat them up, they tend to respect you. Once she won over her teammates, Holly was treated like one of the guys. But that was just a half of it. Her opponents were another thing. Were you ever worried that Holly was going to get picked on because she was a girl? They were going to try to hit her a little harder? They were going to try to taunt her a little more? No, I, I, I knew that she could handle it. It was never a question that somebody you know, might try to hit her harder because I think she would hit them even more hard. I had a guy like shove his hands up my shoulder pads as soon as the play started, and I'm pretty sure he went like Hong Kong. <laughs> which was really funny. Um, but that's okay, because I got him the next play. And how did you retaliate? Well, we may have boobs, but they have something else that's a lot more sensitive. <laughs> so I might have taken a cheap shot. So really, you, you need him right in the old? Yeah. Well, I didn't really need him, kind of punched him. Oh, you punched him? High school football guys, they don't really wear cups as much as they should. It was one thing for Holly to be accepted on the football field, but off of it, there was no escaping the fact that she was a 370-pound teenager. Oh. Holly admits she was teased about her weight, but she says none of it ever stuck. Might be one of the reasons why her classmates voted her one of the queens of the homecoming court. 
I feel like a lot of people, when they're fat growing up, they're shy and they end up not making friends and don't doing things that they probably shouldn't be doing, and that's why they get so down and sad about it. But How was it you? No. I mean, that's why I'm such an advocate for sports for kids. Because you feel that winning, you get that sense of accomplishment, the sense of doing something, and I mean, that's what made me so confident. And it was that confidence, Holly says, that allowed her to eat what she wanted to eat. When you were a kid, were there people telling you you got to lose weight? My mom was really, she wanted me to be healthy. She would make these great, awesome, healthy meals, and I would trade them away for Twinkies. <laughs> you know, like I would go to school and steal somebody else's lunch. People have said, like, oh, it's such a shame how her parents, like, let her get so fat and how, you know, how disgusting their parents should, should have done something. They did all they could do. There have been times when you and your husband have been accused of bad parenting for letting a kid get this fat. One of the moms on the team, I don't know if she knew that I heard her, but she said if I had had that daughter, she would look like that. The only thing that I could think of is if she had had that daughter, she wouldn't, be, she wouldn't have Holly. You wouldn't have the personality that you have in Holly. The comfort level, the ease that she has with, with her body type is something you don't usually get. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it's impressive. And, you know, it's tough to find with anybody, you know, being able to say that, you know, I, I like who I am and just the comfortableness with yourself. After her high school graduation, Holly also had to accept her body's limitations. Too short and too slow to play college football. Holly still wanted the intensity of a contact sport, so she turned to weightlifting, where she found tackling the weight of a bar to be the perfect substitute. There's a part in the lift where the bar hits off your hips. <laughs> well, sometimes you hit it just right, then it's weightless. Those lifts are like finding a pot of gold. Once you feel that lift, you're going to spend the rest of your life chasing to get those lifts all the time. That was the easiest turn. Addicted to the rush, Holly started competing in 2008. And after some early hiccups, she steadily rose through the ranks until she found herself one of the top competitors in the super heavyweight division. It was a shock to her coach, Mark Canella, who recognized Holly's remarkable talent, but pegged her for the 2016 games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all right, yeah, amazing. She could possibly snatch close to 300 and clean and jerk, maybe close to 400 by the time it's all said and done, if she wants to. Depends on what she wants to do. Is that right up there in the old time grid? Yeah. yeah. And now with the Olympics on the line, Holly's tossed the Twinkies for lighter fare sticking to protein and vegetables instead. But she still slips once in a while, like back in March before the Olympic trials. It was a little stressful, so I might have stressed eight, a good 20 pounds. But you know, with me, that's, you know, 20 pounds here or there. Negligible. Yeah, it's not really that big of a deal, so. Let us say barbecue here and her grandpa. Yeah. So talk about an exercise in self-torture. Holly's counting down to London catering for a barbecue joint to support herself and saving her pennies by living in her roommate's laundry room. Sorry, room. I think it's really nice. When I first came down here, it was just a mattress. And then my parents got me a real bed. It's my big girl bed. And when it comes to dating, saucy. Holly has only one rule. I'm Holly. Her boyfriends have always been able to lift more than she can. I don't like being the strong one in the relationship, which is funny because when guys are propositioning you on Facebook, they want you to be this like Amazon woman that is really strong and they're really small. <laughs> oh, I see. If you're like 5'7 and weigh maybe 120 as a male, we're not going to go together well. They, I'm just sorry. Are, those are the people who are I some of those. reaching out to some of those. <laughs> All right. All right. So you get the kinky guys, the furry I guys. Do. I do. That's fun. <laughs> In the end, to Holly, whatever the sacrifice, she's willing to make it. When the real goal is to give the sports world another star named Mangold. Can you medal at this year's Olympic Games? I want to. No one wants to go to the Olympics and get like eighth. I think that the amount of progress that I've been doing is insane. And if I can keep that up, 
I don't see why not. 